guys, I am Rebecca and these are my reviews and I have this little sponge to talk about today. I'm also going to do my makeup with said sponge as well as a bunch of brushes. These are all from a company called Juno & Co. And this little guy has been all over the internet lately. It is a microfiber fusion sponge. So it's your basic, you know, beauty blender type sponge. It has a flat side here. It's got kind of a cut off top there and then your rounded edge. But the interesting thing about this is that it's fuzzy. It almost feels like velvet or something. It has all these tiny little microfiber hairs on there so that it's like a brush plus a sponge all wrapped up into one cute little thing. It comes in a box like this. Super cute packaging, right? And then mine is damp. So this is the expanded size. It is quite a bit smaller when it's dry. And it's, you are supposed to be able to use this dry or wet. I have used it both ways and I definitely prefer it wet. Um, but with dry products like powder and stuff, it works really well when it's dry. So, you know, you can use it either way. And this little guy is $4, which is awesome. And then these brushes are $2 each, or you can get them in a bundle. And all of these are $11, which is just freaking awesome. So I will go through each of the brushes as I use them to apply products to my face. Okay, let's do this. Okay, so I'm going to start with using this ESO1, which is supposed to be like a foundation brush. It's the fat, the fat. It's the flat kind of a brush, um, but I'm going to use it for my primer. I'm just using the Too Faced Hangover Primer. I like using these kind of brushes for primer just because, you know, I don't always wanna use my fingers. I also really like using these types of brushes for applying masks. And for $2, this is the perfect kind of brush. The bristles are really soft and you can see it's a pretty good size and it's just, it's really nice. I actually really like it. The handles on these brushes remind me of the Kat Von D brushes and in fact I have one. This is a Kat Von D brush and this is the Juno brush so you can see they definitely have similar styles here. The Kat Von D ones are definitely a bit heavier. This one I would say, you know, it has kind of a hollow plastic handle here and the bristles seem really nice they're soft fairly dense you know it's a perfectly good brush and for two dollars i mean come on you can't beat that okay so now i'm going to go in with foundation i'm using too faced peach perfect comfort matte foundation in light beige i actually really do like this foundation i like it a lot the color is uh, a bit peachy for my taste but right now it's working for me okay and it's fine and i really like the formula i think it looks really nice on my skin anyway so what i'm going to do is i'm actually gonna just like dot the foundation on my face and with the, the fusion bristles on there, it's supposed to use less product than like a normal sponge would. And I feel like that's possibly true. I mean, normally my sponge doesn't soak up that much product anyway, but with this, um, it sits on top. You'll see, I'll show you. And you can do just a dabbing like you would with a regular beauty blender, but because it has those bristles, it actually kind of works to do almost like a swipe bounce. <laughs> swipe bounce, I'm gonna trademark that. And I like using the, uh, the top cutoff part like around my nose and stuff because it does kind of have some sharp, not sharp, but you know, well kind of, <laughs> sharp corners on it, uh, which are nice for getting in those, those types of areas. I have this scar on my forehead from burning myself with a freaking curling wand. Drives me insane. It looks like an age spot. Okay, so you can see, I mean, it does a good job of blending in my makeup. I think it looks really nice. And look at the sponge, okay? Do you see what I mean? Like, okay, nice sharp corner there, right? But do you see how it kind of sits funny on the sponge? Like it almost clumps on there. And the first time I used it, I was like, what the heck is that? But it's because of those little bristles. It does kind of clump on there, but because it does that, it doesn't really soak into the sponge very much. I mean, a little bit, sure, but it mostly just kind of gets stuck on those bristles, which is great because that leaves it on the surface of the sponge. So I do have a beauty blender and you can see like this one is really, this is wet by the way, this is really squishy and this one is a bit more dense. 
so you can kind of compare the squishiness. I don't know if it's as easy to see as it is to feel, but it's not super dense, but it's definitely more dense than the Beauty Blender. And it's a bit bigger too, but eh, maybe not that much bigger. Maybe it's just that it doesn't, you know, go to a point at the top. It's kind of an interesting shape there. So when I'm doing my under eye, I kind of use the side of it right here. Let me just show you. I'm using Tarte Shape Tape in the color Light Neutral. Okay, so I'm gonna just kind of use the, the side corner of it. I always use like way too much <laughs> because, you know, the sponge doesn't soak up a lot and Shart, tart, Shart, I always call it Shart. How horrible is that? heart shape tape um, a little bit goes a long way anyway there you go so see it blends it out flawlessly I mean it's it does a really good job and you know there's definitely some product left on there but it kind of sits right on top which I think is just so weird and it looks weird but you know the sponge works well and uh, for four dollars I mean come on now son okay so let's use some of the other brushes in here let's try some contour this actually works really well for contour as well and you'll see I'll kind of I'll kind of bake down here for let me just show you that okay so I've got this brush this is the ES05 and it's a big fat angled kind of rounded top kind of a kabuki brush it's fairly dense the bristles again are super soft just feels really nice. So I'm gonna use Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer, and I'm just gonna carve out those cheekbones. And then I will use the ES03 for my blush, and it's just, you know, a nice rounded. Again, these, these brushes are fairly dense. You know, I mean, not like crazy dense, but they're, they're fairly dense and the bristles are really soft. I'm gonna say that like over and over again. Okay, for blush, I'm going to use Tarte Feisty. And the way that I like to use this for my blush is to use like the side of it instead of the tip. And I feel like these brushes pick up a lot of product. So I always feel like I have to be careful, especially because they are a bit dense. And I'm just going to lightly dust that on my cheeks. And then I'll kind of blend it by swirling it on the top of the brush. Okay, and then I'm actually going to powder my jawline. I know, it's kind of weird, but that's where my make I always lose my makeup. So I'm just dipping my sponge into the loose powder. This is from Honest Beauty. And I'm just going to pack it onto my chin. And my jawline. I see that flat top is really good for contour as well, if you wanted to use it that way. And then I am going to use the ES04, a giant fan brush to do my highlight. I'm using Ofra Rodeo Drive. And this is a big fan brush, so you kind of have to be careful. Also, this is a pretty intense highlight. But I do like using this for highlight, and I just kind of sweep it all over because I don't like having a stripe of highlight. I just think that looks terrible, so I kind of, you know, just blend it out and sort of highlight this whole area of my face. Boom. I also have this ES02, which makes a good powder brush. You could use that, you know, to dust off or whatever, powder your whole face, whatever you want to do with it. Um, also, you know, a nice big brush. Okay, for my eyes, I'm going to use this Mirabella palette, which I think I got in a Vine O box. And it's just a really beautiful palette. I super love this. So I'm going to use this brush is the ES06 and it's like a flat shader brush, but it has a little bit of a fluffiness to it, which makes it, you know, good for multiple diff for multiple uses. Um, and it is a bit on the dense side. It's not crazy dense, but it's not super fluffy. Anyway, I'll show you. Okay, so I'm just gonna use this like white shimmery color right on the inner corner. I'm gonna use this right under my brows too, just to highlight that. <laughs> These Mirabella shadows are really pigmented. All right, and then I'm gonna go in with this color right here, this kind of dark rosy color, and I'm just gonna pack that all over my lid. If you go to the Juno website, they actually have some collaborations with other inexpensive brands like dupe palettes and stuff like that um you know so you can get a full eyeshadow palette for like eight bucks or something 
and I haven't tried those ones, but they look really pretty. All right, and then I'm just gonna dip like the tip of the brush into this purpley lavender color, and I'm gonna take that a little bit like outer V, and I'll take that under my eyes as well. Look how much I'm getting done with just this one brush. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's got multiple uses. Okay, and that's basically all I'm gonna do for the eyes. Do you see how many different things you can do with this one brush? I mean, I've got it like up into the crease, I packed on color here, I basically used it as like a smudgy liner under my eyes, inner corner up my brow. It's just a really nice all-purpose. Can you see it though? I mean, it's a really great brush. I love this brush. Okay, I'm just popping on some mascara. This is from Pure. This is Ofra Ipsy Unzipped pretty pink right okay so that's basically it I am happy with the way my makeup turned out I think the brushes are well worth the two dollars each I think that's an amazing price these are fun fantastic brushes this sponge is weird and awesome all in one <laughs> I don't know it's it's just weird, but it does work well, I think. I mean, you know, you guys tell me, what do you think? I think it works well. Um, and for $4, I mean, come on, you can't beat that. So if you go to the Juno website, you will find all of this stuff as well as they have a mirror, like a smart mirror that they have, and then some other stuff that they've like collabed with other companies or whatever. But Juno plans on releasing new products like every month. So I am excited to see what else they come out with because so far I'm thinking it's pretty cool and for the price it is amazing so anyway I will leave all of the information in the description box so check that out and that's pretty much it so thank you guys so much for watching please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and share it with your friends don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I will see you in my next video bye